<laughs> what is good youtube man today i'm back with you guys with the nation for another video today and today we got a good one nothing new nothing new but uh really quick you already know the drill i have to give a big shot to my boy isonate yet again another one and another one he comes clutch with another great thumbnail that's what you guys see when you click on this video now really really quick if you want more raider content more raider news go check out my boy icy nate's page man get him to 1100 subs man get him to that milestone that would be huge um but without further ado we got some news man I, I think we have some good news today um some of it was a little bit shocking some of it was a little bit confusing a little bit confusing if i will say so myself now um let's get right into it so look today we had two main topics and one of them started off earlier on in the day um you see him in the thumbnail that's our right guard slash left guard slash injured reserved 40 or 38 year old um offensive lineman richie incognito now me personally i did think that he was going to be fully healthy saying that he had an extra week without a game to prepare and get ready and get back healthy and that's richie incognito rich basaccia comes out today today to the media and did address the fact that richie incognito it's looking like the trend is that he will not be so i'm i'm done i don't think that he'll be ready for this uh week eight matchup our week eight nfl's week nine matchup against the uh the new york giants now um he did say that although he is not going to probably play this week he is very 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 close to being fully healthy after getting another calf strain or or i think it was a calf strain or just a leg injury earlier on in training camp now um I want to talk about this a little bit, right? Because we all know that Richie, Richie Incognito, when healthy, is extremely productive, right? He he he's he's one of the best, right? Even even uh, 2019 when he was 37, people or 2019 when he was 36, people kind of rid him off, and he was graded as a top 10 guard in the NFL. Um, so we all know that when he's healthy, when he's on that field, he's a huge plus for this offensive line. But what do we do at this point, right? Um, if he is fully healthy, week 10, um, right, do we put him in? In my opinion, it's a no-brainer. We put him in over John Simpson, right? Um, it's a no-brainer in my opinion, but I want to know your guys' thoughts, right? Because at week 10, let's say he fully is healthy. John Simpson is coming off his best performance, his best performance against the Philadelphia Eagle, where he ranked 11th out of 52 offensive guards. Now, if Richie Incognito come back, comes back, he will be replacing John Simpson. Now, that does one of two things. It impacts, in a good way, our offensive line immediately because you get Richie Incognito back. But Richie Incognito is not your future, right? He is your present. He's going to help you go to this playoff push this year, but he's not your future, right? You're not going to have him for another three years. You may... If he stays healthy, you may re-sign him for one more year due to the fact that he was voted a captain. But what do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to continue to let John Simpson de develop? Or do you want to just, you know what, John Simpson, your time is not now. You're not ready now. This guy, Richie Incognito, 55-year veteran, is ready now. Um, I want to know what you guys think, man. Do you guys value the development of a young player that we did invest highly? A fifth-round pick on him, John Simpson out of Clemson. Would you guys rather spend the rest of the year um giving john simpson some good experience or do you want to put us in a position where richie incognito can help us really win down the stretch but when you put richie incognito john simpson is missing a lot of valuable reps now that's not saying that richie incognito can't be healthy for one play and then john simpson has to come back in right um i do think that in my personal opinion i would much rather um see richie finish off the the season have him finish it out so that we can have our top 
top, top tier offense alignment out there. Of course, you don't have Denzel Good, but if you can get Richie Incognito back, that's a huge boost, in my opinion, in the pass protection and the run blocking um, assignments for the offensive line. Me personally, I'm all for Richie Incognito coming back if healthy. If healthy. If not, I don't want to push him into the starting lineup if he's not healthy, if he's just going to kind of be tweaking at that calf, tweaking at that leg injury some more, and just making it worse. No, I'd rather John Simpson get some more valuable reps, but I want to know your guys' thoughts about that. And number two, number two in today's news, it was pretty big in my opinion. Um, 2020 UDFA out of UNLV linebacker or safety turned to linebacker. Uh, Javin White earlier today um, in the morning was rumored. And the reason why I'm saying rumored is because there's conflicting reports, right? So earlier today, he was rumored that the Raiders were going to release him. And what the what the whole plan was, was after the release of Javin White, um, the plan was if clearing waivers, he will probably get picked up to the practice squad and we'll probably sign him back. Now, there's one or two things here. Number one, um, if we do release him, we have to look about it in a way that, look, <clears throat> the Cowboys just lost <clears throat> Jabril Cox for the rest of the year. That's a linebacker that was a sideline to sideline, mainly pass coverage linebacker, which is what Javin White is. Um, I think that he wouldn't clear waivers just because of his raw talent and he put up some decent tape in the preseason, right? But it is preseason that was all up against um, second and thirds, right? He wasn't going up against any ones in preseason. But Javin White um, in the offseason looked to begin some valuable reps with the first team every now and again. Um, but, of course, we all know that, Ju that Gus Bradley just likes to rotate his guys in and out uh, when it comes to camp, when it comes to third stringers. He likes to put the fits with the firsts, right? He wants these guys to get reps to see what it's like to play with the top level, even when it's not in game, right? So here's the thing. One, I don't know if Javin White would clear waivers. Two, there was another report that came out very, very later in the day saying that the Raiders have actually activated um, slash elevated Javin White off the IR list and we activated him. So what that means was, with Willie Sneed getting released a couple days ago, we now had a void, we now had a roster spot that we can fill up. So when you elevate slash activate someone off the IR list, they weren't taking any space on your 53 man roster. They were just set to the side. But if you were to activate, they immediately take up a roster spot. Now, thankfully for us, we do have an extra roster spot because Willie Sneed um, did get released and we didn't sign anybody after that. So. The report later in the day was that he was released or they, they, that he was elevated off the practice squad and and expected to return off the IR. But then they're also talking about he's going to get elevated and then tomorrow they're looking to release him. So it's kind of weird. I, me personally, um, I think Javin White's a good player. I would love for us to keep him around. Um, the fact that we're looking to just place him on the practice squad when we have an open roster spot, I mean, just you might as well at that point just keep him, right? You might as well keep him and if and, and keep him on the 53-man roster for a couple weeks. And if, if another player comes available, or this could mean that the Raiders are really trying to stay active for the deadline, um, which is coming up tomorrow i believe at 4 p.m eastern 1 p.m uh west coast time so maybe that is true that the raiders do want to release him tomorrow hope that he clears waivers by wednesday sign him to the practice squad on wednesday and make a big move before the trade deadline ends tomorrow, November 2nd, right? And we know that the Raiders have been linked to a couple guys already, whether it's Michael Brockers, whether it's Melvin Ingram, Fletcher Cox, all these guys, all these guys are D-linemen, right? Um, so who knows? Maybe the Raiders are just trying to, you know, kind of play chess, not checkers. In my opinion, if you have an open roster spot, just just let the man play, right? Just let, just elevate him. If anything, um, 
he'll 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 be a special teamer but I don't know. It was kind of confusing. There's a bit of a head scratcher, you know. Um, some news reporters saying one thing, the others are saying the other. In my opinion, if there's an open roster spot, just keep jabbing White. If you guys are planning to make a big move tomorrow before the deadline, then yes, release him. Try and sign him to the practice squad if he does clear waivers. Um, but if not, if you're not going to make a big trade or if, or if by... I don't know if by 12 o'clock you guys don't find a trade partner. Just keep Javin White on the squad. No need to move on from him. He looked pretty promising. Um, he, he could be an overall good coverage linebacker, right? He could be the future. Maybe he could be a, a Corey Littleton, right, of the future. You know, we only have Corey Littleton for this year and the next. Um, I, I'm all for just letting him stay because I didn't see anything bad that he put on film, right? I didn't see anything bad. Um... But I don't know. It is what it is, Renner Nation. Let me know your guys' thoughts on Javin White, Richie Incognito. And what do you guys think? Keep John Simpson if, if Richie's healthy or just put Richie in, right? Just put Richie in. What do you guys think? I want to know all of your guys' thoughts on all of that. Um, but that'll be it for today's video, Raider Nation. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new on the road to 3,000 subscribers, man. And always comment in the comment section down below each time I have time. I go down there, I either at least hit the like on your comment or I'll reply um, for really catches my eye. But yes, like I said, I'm out for tonight. Love y'all. Stay safe. Peace.